Do you ever find your partner not putting in effort into the relationship and you're doing all the heavy lifting? You feel like if you didn't put in the effort, your relationship would easily crumble and your partner would do nothing about it. Well, there are three main reasons why avoidant partners do that and I'll show you how to fix them. Number one, avoidance expect relationships to be easy. There's a reason why avoidance are attracted to anxious attachers. When the avoidant is feeling down or low, they expect their partner to take care of them. They often have fantasies of finding the perfect partner who will do all the heavy lifting and they'll just sit there and be loved. But that's not how relationships work. If your partner is not willing to put in effort, the relationship is destined to fail. Here's the fix to that and it's not easy. They have to change their perception towards love. The avoidant has to change. And if they're not willing to change, then you must be prepared to walk away. This requires a lot of patience and guidance. And quite frankly, most people are better off just walking away. All that heartbreak and trauma that it can cause you. If the avoidant really loves you, they will change. If not, they were not the right one for you. Number two, being loved makes them feel uncomfortable. Avoidants want to be loved, but they're very afraid of being close and vulnerable. Because they've been alone all their lives, they've learned not to trust anyone but themselves. So they're always living in the fear that someone will betray them or stab them in the back. This is why once you start getting close to an avoidant, they will pull back and start to distance themselves. Here's how to fix that. Don't take it personally. Understand they aren't doing this to hurt you. Give them space. Let them go away for a while. And when they come back, which if they love you, they definitely will, take them back with love. Don't be angry or reactive about it. When they come back and you give them a warm welcome, it signals that you are familiar and makes them feel secure. Number three, avoidance are very rational. Their thinking is very practical and based on reality. They are constantly looking for gaps and holes in the relationship. Once they become attached to you, they'll start looking for reasons as to why the relationship won't work. They want to find reasons why you're not a good fit for them. When avoidance become attached, they think they're taking a huge risk of becoming betrayed. So they do this to reassure that they don't need anyone. Here's the fix to that. Make them feel loved. You need to show them that you're dependable and they can trust you. Be calm and make them feel secure. If you can do this, their anxieties will start to fade away. Slowly by slowly, they'll heal and they'll start to love you without holding back. Now, if you're someone who's dating an avoidant partner, it can be very hard to deal with your partner's issues, especially when you have some of your own to deal with. But if you really love your partner and you want to spend your life with them, then I can help you. Over the last 10 years, I've helped people fix their relationships, heal their marriages, release their trauma, and remove their limiting beliefs. And I've helped them to transform their life, all with the power of neurotransformation therapy. If you're interested in that, then comment below NTT and myself or my team will reach out to you and give you an application link to book a call with us so we can heal your trauma, clear those past relationship baggages and help you to become the person who can create an extraordinary relationship.